This is how to install the LinkedIn Ads Insight tag and also conversion tracking as quickly and as simply as possible. So when we're setting up the LinkedIn Ads Insight tag and conversion tracking, we're gonna follow five simple steps. The first one is we're gonna install the Insight tag, then we're gonna set up conversions, then we're gonna just check it all works, then we're gonna add that to campaign so we can start using it for our tracking. And then I've got a bonus step at the end which allows you to use the Insight tag to not only lower your lead cost, but also improve the quality of your leads. So first up, we need to navigate to LinkedIn and then we need to navigate to uh, LinkedIn Ads Manager. To do that, we click on For Business and then we click on Advertise. This will bring you through to a list of companies. You will likely only have one in here, um, but I am multiple, so we manage these for account for clients. So then we'll go to our account. Then on the left-hand side, and they keep changing this and they make it really complicated and convoluted and they don't need to. On the left-hand side, you click on Analyze. That brings down a drop-down. We're going to click on Signals Manager. Sources and Signals Manager is the same. This is they made it really convoluted very, very recently. Next up, we need to add the Insight tag. So the reason it's, it's saying unverified here is because it's not been added anywhere. It hasn't checked it. It can't find it anywhere on the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and then I need to click on. Uh, Basically, I'm going to run you through the quickest method of doing this and the easiest. There are multiple ways you can do this, loads of ways you can do it, very convoluted ways. This is the most simple, right? I'm going to click, I will install the Insight tag myself. I'm going to copy that. Now, to install this, we're going to navigate to our website first. And this is best done if you're doing it on some sort of website builder. And if you're running ads on LinkedIn, I strongly recommend you use a website builder because it's fast, it's easy, you can A-B test simply, and you should be running traffic to specific funnels, not just broadly to your website. Uh, it's very bad practice to do that. Can do it under some circumstances, but not advisable. In this instance, I just open up the settings of the funnel that I want to put the code into and I paste it in there. Now, some of you might be using Google Tag Manager. If you are using Google Tag Manager, you just log into Tag Manager. You click add new tag. Uh, you would press choose a tag here. Now at the very, very top, uh, you can do a little search. Sorry, it's just off screen. I'm just gonna search in the top LinkedIn and that will bring up LinkedIn Insight. I click on that and then it will give me a tag ID. Now, if I want to do the tag ID, instead of copying the code, I just click on, I will use Tag Manager. I copy the ID there and then I go through to here and I paste it in there. Then in terms of triggering, I press on triggering and I select all pages and then I save that in the top right. You can use Tag Manager. I prefer just to install the code itself. If you are using something like WordPress, however, you're ignoring my advice, that's fine. Uh, you can install a piece of uh, a plugin, sorry, called WordPress Code Lite. Then once you've installed that plugin and activated it, on the left hand side, you'll see something that says code snippets. Go to header and footer. And then in the footer section down here, you would yet again go back here. You would copy the insight tag there and you just paste it into that footer and you'd save those changes. That is your insight tag installed. So that's step one done. Now we need to just verify it works. To verify it works, what we would do is we would go to our website that we've saved it on, right, and published and make sure it's all live. And I'm gonna show you a really quick way just to check that the code is actually on that page. So let's view the page quickly. Now, if I press, I can never remember if it's F11 or F12, it's F12 on PC and I go to elements, I can then press Control F and I can type in LinkedIn, right? And then I can keep pressing enter and that will take me through the code of the website. And eventually we'll get to a bit where it will say LinkedIn partner ID, right? And if that you see that code in the code of your website, that means that the pixels on your website or the insight tag is on your website, it should be working, right? But we're gonna to go to our website to trigger that insight tag to make sure it starts listing itself as verified and not unverified. Note to self, this can take a little while to actually start working. It might take like an hour or so to start working. So if you install it and do this straight away and it doesn't work, don't worry. Just leave it a little bit of time and come back to it. The good news is we can continue with the other things we're going to do. So we've installed the insight tag. Now we need to set up some conversions so we actually put that insight tag to good use. Within LinkedIn, we're now on the left hand side, we're going to go to analyze and we're going to go to conversion tracking. You can also access this, I mean, there's multiple places, you could just press conversion, create conversion up here. It's all the same thing, but conversion tracking on the left hand side under analyze. And you can do this multiple times for multiple different actions if you want to. I would then press create conversion. And ideally, because we want the simplest method, we're going to press insight tag conversion. 
then I'm going to give it a name. Make it something you can remember, come up with an easy uh, naming convention. So for this, I'm just going to say lead capture, right? Because I only have one funnel, but ideally come up with a slightly better naming convention. Then you want to tell LinkedIn what that is. Now, this for me is a lead, so I'm going to mark it as a lead. You can set the value to uh, improve reporting within the ads manager. We usually leave this empty because it's not like e-commerce where the value is fixed and set and it's very easy to track. You're getting leads in, you then have to work those leads, etc. So we often leave it blank and we do our tracking outside on a spreadsheet because it's slightly easier. In terms of the clicks and the views, leave them as default. In terms of this setting down here, put it as last touch, last campaign. That means that when it registers a conversion, it only registers it to one conversion, so you can see the point of conversion, rather than it duplicating things across campaigns and confusing your metrics. Then we're gonna press at the bottom next step. Then, once your LinkedIn Insight tag is installed, uh, they've added this brand new thing called website actions where it populates automatically all the different things, a page is on your website, who clicks on what, and you can, if you want to, just click through that process. However, I still recommend doing the old school thing just because it's slightly easier um, and a bit more reliable. So I would click on manual conversion setup and then I would say page load because that's, again, the easiest thing. Then uh, you would do URL contains and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to that funnel that I installed the set the tag on. So I installed the tag over here. These are the steps of the funnel. If someone fills out or reaches this page here, it's always best to do this with pages I found. found. If they reach that page, they are a lead, they have converted. So what I will do is I will go back to um, here. I will paste that URL. I'm going to delete the stuff at the start. Um, and just have that, the, the, the core URL and the, the bit at the end. And then I'm gonna say next step. At this point in time, we can already start on step four, adding it to campaigns by selecting the campaigns we want this to be um, used on, right? So let's select this one here, 1.1, and then I'll press create at the bottom. That then adds it. Yet again, it's telling us unverified and it's doing that because we haven't triggered that uh, insight tag or that conversion yet. To trigger it, all we would do is yet again, we would go to that page. So I'll load that page and I'll trigger it myself. Make sure by the way, you don't have an ad blocker installed or something like that. Because if you have an ad blocker, it might stop that firing and it might mean that it doesn't show it as being registered. So turn off your ad blockers or anything like that, just so that you can guaranteed fire that uh, insight tag. Once it does fire, it will eventually change to verified. Here's an example of a tag that's been active for a, a while, and it says insight tag active. That's what you'll see once it starts working under signals manager, same under conversion tracking, it will say conversion and it will say active. So now we've installed the insight tag, we've set up the conversions, we've tested it works because we can see if it's working. Obviously we've waited a bit of time. And now we want to add it to campaigns. We could have already added it to campaigns at the end of that conversion setup uh, stage. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it manually. So I have this conversion. I'm now going to go to our advertising and you can do this. This allows you a little bit more control. So uh, we didn't add it to this one here, 1 1.2. So I'm going to click edit on that campaign. And if I scroll down to the bottom, this is where I can set up conversion tracking, okay? And as you can see, the conversion that we just set up is now at the bottom and I can check that conversion, it adds it here, and then I can save and exit, move on, launch the campaign, whatever I need to do, right? That's how we add conversions to campaigns. So best practices you need to follow when you're setting up conversions is you don't want conversions to be something like they just viewed the page, like they just clicked onto your website. That's not really a conversion. You wanna be t uh, tracking solid actions that bring revenue, like leads being generated, schedules, white paper downloads, webinar signups, something that is tangible and leads to something else. Also, generally speaking, on each campaign, you only wanna track one thing. So if your campaign's purpose is to get you leads, one conversion added to that campaign and it's that conversion. Don't start adding all of your conversions, it gets very, very, very messy and it will mess up your reporting. Now at the start of the video, I said I had a bonus step and I'm gonna tell you what that bonus step is right now. It's to like and subscribe to this channel. It's not really, I lied. The viewers started to wonder, was there a bonus step or was this just an excuse for engagement on YouTube? So because we have our LinkedIn Insight tag installed, we can now start collecting data from our website and using that to build audiences that we can remarket to. Remarketing audiences are by far the lowest cost per lead you're gonna have and they will convert better than anything else. So you need this done. 
some news here. Uh, this is not retrospective. So this only works from the moment you install the Insight tag and you set up this audience. So you must do this straight away. If you don't, you're missing out on a whole load of data and it's gonna make things really difficult for you. We can again start uh, in this menu. So I'm gonna to go to plan on the left and audiences. And this menu, I can yet again see if I'm receiving signals from our Insight tag. So when I set up a website, um, audience, it will tell me when a signal is received. This is our test account, which is why everything looks so messy and there's no signals everywhere because it's all just for show, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create audience and I'm going to type in or select matched audience. Then I can come down to the bottom right and select website. I can press next. Then I name this audience. You need one that's all website viewers. So let's do all website viewers. You can go into more specifics here and you can start saying things like, um, and let's also specify the duration, 180 days. Uh, we can also do things like people who've converted on the website, people who visited blog pages, and you can start piling these all on top of each other to create these custom audiences if you want to get really detailed, and by all means, that's fine. Then I'm going to do contains, and then I'm going to just copy across the base URL here of the website. I'll paste it in there. Then I'm going to press next step, agree and create. That will create the audience. Yeah, again, so what that's done, I can now use this audience when I build out campaigns. I can select that as a specific audience and remarket to them. Yeah, again, here I've got uh, the signal over here. If I re go to any page on my website now and I load that page, provided enough time has passed, etc. again, leave it some time, and then I refresh this page, this would eventually change. It's probably not going to because it doesn't want to make things work straight away. This will then say signal received and it will say how long ago that signal was also received. Now, over the last four years, we've managed millions in ad spend for hundreds of clients and generated over a quarter of a million leads through ads. And we specialize in LinkedIn ads. Now I've put together everything I've learned from all the successes and the failures and everything that works. So if you want to know exactly what you need to do on LinkedIn to maximize your chances of having a profitable campaign, I've put together everything I've learned so you can download that into your brain in this video here, the ultimate LinkedIn ads guide. I hope it helps you out.